Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm just going to do a little experiment. This is a 4 inch or 10 centimeter square ceramic tile and I've just cleaned that off just with a baby wipe. Just to clean it, that's all the preparation you need. You don't need to put anything um, down like a primer or anything. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to experiment with the Montmartre um, pouring paint metallics, um, the gold, bronze and silver. I'm going to do one tile using the um, Bloom pouring medium, which is the Josonia gloss varnish and the Taubman's doors and trims interior gloss paint. And I've used that to thicken the um, Montmartre pouring paints up. So I'm going to use a base of the Araldo Di Piolo Black, which I've mixed with Australian Flow Troll, and I've made it fairly thick, thicker than I normally have a base. So mound on a mound, rather than just a mound as it drizzles back in. I'm going to use the Amsterdam, um, which is this one, Amsterdam Oxide Black as a cell activator. So it's just been mixed with Australian Flow Troll approximately one to four. And I'm going to do one tile just with the um, colours, Montmartre pouring paint colours that I've mixed up with the um, Bloom Technique, Chili Art Bloom Technique um, pouring medium. And then I'm going to do another one with them just mixed with a tiny bit of Australian Flow Troll because they're already thin. Um, they don't really need to be mixed with anything, but I put the Australian Flow Troll in it just to um, help create cells really. So the first one will be the one I'm going to use with the thicker mixture. So I'm just going to lay down my base. And I want this to completely cover. So I'm going to do a bloom in the middle. And then on the edges, I'm just using the um, thinner pouring paint just to create a little pattern around the edge. I did a video similar to this um, a while back where I um, did a, a bigger tile um, just to give you the idea of when you do it on the bigger ones. So um, I'll link that video in the description box for you. And as usual, I'll put all the colors that I've used in the description box as well. And I'd just like to thank all of those of you who have subscribed to my channel so far. I really appreciate your support. And if you haven't already, if you'd like to, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, that's my base down. Um, so I'm using, the only thing I'm using different will be, I'm using a little bit of the um, this little piggy macaw. And I'm just going to lay that down first, um, just as a little base, because I like the interference colors when they're against a the black. Um, so I will be putting that down on both tiles um, because I haven't got that just mixed with Australian Flow Troll. So that's the only thing that will be um, inconsistent with my experiment. So I'm just putting a little bit of that underneath. Then I'm going to lay down the bronze. You see it's quite thick, so it's mound on a mound on a mound. And then I'm going to use this Montmartre Pouring Paint Silver. Got a few bubbles in these because I've just mixed them up. Um, it's always a good idea if you're using the Bloom Technique um, pouring medium to sort of let them sit overnight to let the um, bubbles come out. This is the gold. It's my favorite gold in the world, the Montmartre pouring paint gold. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to hit that with my um, heat embossing tool just to burst those little bubbles. Now, if you have any bubbles that don't burst, just use your meat um, skewer and just pop those bubbles with the skewer. 
There we go. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of the Cell Activator, Amsterdam Oxide Black, mixed with Australian Flow Troll, just into the middle, not too much, just a little circle of it. And now I'm just going to use my little mini blower to blow that out. I've recently purchased the little um, attachment from Tracy Reed Designs and um, it's great for blowing out these without having to blow out by mouth. So hopefully I'm trying to blow across rather than down in um, so that will help the cells to be created. A bit of a technique there so I've just got to practice doing that. Here we go. Okay, so that's a pretty little bloom. I quite like it when you have these bits that don't get blown out because it creates nice borders um, for when we do that bit of um, in, uh, modification. I always go to call it embellishing, but it's actually modification. I've got the macaw showing there, which would be beautiful against the black. Just waiting for these cells to sort of reappear in here. Sometimes you just need to blow that with a straw and that helps to bring those cells back up, breaks the surface tension. So this is just a paper straw that I've flattened out. You can see those little cells starting to pop up there now. Just let those come up a bit and then I'll give it a bit of a wreck. A bit of modification. So I'm just going to draw the shape of the petals into the center. You can spin this out so it becomes very abstract, um, which really looks nice too. But I like my flowers to actually still look like a flower. Just personal preference. And then I'm just going to do a little swirly in the middle there. Okay, so now before I spin it out around the edges, I'm just going to do this little border, which actually looks quite pretty the way it is. I'll just burst some bubbles though. It's actually a very pretty little bloom. Okay, so I'm just going to now use the Montmartre pouring paint that's been mixed with a little bit of Australian float or just as a little border. And just silver, then the bronze and then the gold. Squeezy bottle isn't as good as the others. And now the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. Now I'm just going to run a little meat skewer through that. Just in a circular motion. Actually, I'll burst those bubbles. I can see there's quite a few there. Okay, so I'm just going to go basically around, back. Just think it creates a really pretty border. And now just a small spin. Okay, 
I love this bit here where it doesn't have any cells. I'm just going to do a little whack through there. It's gone a little bit off center, but it doesn't have to be in the center. And just tilt the board for a second, just bring it back a tiny bit. It is moving just very, very slowly. Okay, I think that's really pretty. Now you've just got to make sure you always check your edges. I don't like the fact that it's got black just on the corner there, so I'll put the bit of paint, make sure the edges are all pretty and covered with the metallics. Just get a bit from here and take it over there. Right, okay. So now I'm going to do one that's got the thinner paints and we can do the comparison between the two. So I'll just pop this on a little one of these little cups that I've got. I'll just pop that over there, out of the way. And we'll bring it back in a moment after we've done the next one so we can get a comparison between the two. So now the next one, lay down my base again. So this is the macaw, which is the only one that will be thicker. And now I'm just going to lay down the, I think I did silver and then bronze and then gold. So this is the silver Montmartre. She's just been mixed with a little bit of Aussie Floetrol. Now the bronze. I see they're much thinner. And now the gold. Burst the bubbles. And a little bit of the Amsterdam Oxide Black, not too much. I'm sure I always put too much. Now blowing it out with our little mini blower. Okay, instantly I can see that the um, cell activator has sunk through and created these cells and webbing. Um, whereas with the thicker paint, the cell activator stayed more on the top, whereas it's definitely sunk through and given me these lovely cells. So it's quite, quite different. So I'll just um, do my bit of modification. Totally different look altogether. Both beautiful, just very different. Okay, now I'll just do my little edge.
gentle spin. Back the other way. Just not liking that little bit there. Or there. If you see something you don't like, you can just run a skewer through it. And it creates another nice pattern anyway. Okay, so that's created two very, very different tiles. I'll just bring the other one back. Pop it over here. Hopefully you'll be able to see both there. So the one on the left, you can see that was with the thicker paints that have been mixed with the Yosonia and the Torbmans. And you can see they've got the lovely little cells there um, sitting on the surface and you can still see the cell activator. With this one, the cell activator has completely sunk through. It's still created nice um, cells and lacing, but um, it's a very, very fine outline because the cell activator has gone straight through. It hasn't sat, sat on the top. So as you can see, very different. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of flow troll to my Yosonia and Torbman's mixes just to thin them out a little bit. Um, so it'll be like a combination between the two and um, hopefully that will go well as well. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the result of that at the end of it. Okay, so I've just mixed up my um, paints that I had, the Yosonia and the Torbman's. I've just put a small amount of Australian Flow Troll into the paints, probably about a teaspoon um, into each of them just to thin them out a bit. So including the Macaw, I put it in with that as well. So we'll just see what we get now um, with this little experiment that we're continuing on with. So I'm just putting down my base. Okay, dokey. And now I shall lay down the bit of macaw. Sorry, this video will go a bit long because I'm doing the comparison between the three. I will try and trim it back a little bit for you. But you can always fast forward, which I'm sure people do anyway. So that was the Macaw, now I've got the Montmartre Silver. So thank you, Tracy Reed, for making the little um, attachments for the mini blowers. So here we go. It's blowing out really nicely, actually. The cells have come up great. It's not too black, um, but you can see all the individual cells, which I love. Don't like this, that's where I with the mini blower I've gone and tilted the nozzle down um, instead of trying to get it to flow across I've gone into the paint but that's all right I'll fix that up in a second so I'll just um, use my heat embossing tool to bring up any more cells and to burst any bubbles I think this one's my winner winner so far loving that so just that little bit of Aussie flow trolling with the uh, Yosonia and Torbmans um, with those Montmartre pouring paints. It's come up nice. Okay, so I'll just do my little bit of modification. You can see a bit of everything, the bronze, the gold, the silver, a little bit of macaw on the edges as well. Now I'm just going to draw a little, I like to do a little circle in the middle. Lovely. Oh, these cells are beautiful. Mm, very pretty. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to do my little drizzle around the edges to get my little swirly pattern. And I'll just wreck through it. Okay, gentle spin. I love that. Okay, I'm just going to press a few little bubbles so I can see my edges. Right, so guys, which one do you like the best? I'll put them all down now, all next to each other. So this was number three. And here is number two. And number one. So personally, I like either number one or number three, but I do like this one too. It's just different. So I'll come down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are with number one, which was the one that I mixed the Montmartre pouring paint, gold, silver, and bronze with the Jasonia and the Taubman. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful little cells there. It's really pretty. This next one, I just mixed the pouring paints with a little bit of um, Australian Flow Troll, except for the Macaw, which had the uh, Jasonia and Taubman's. And as you can see, the um, lacing has been created, but the cell activator just totally um, sinking below. And so it's just got this very um, muted little cells there, sort of creating a lovely lacing effect and the last one I mixed the Montmartre pouring paint with the Jasonia and the Taubman's and a little bit of the Aussie flow troll so I think that one is actually my favorite so I'd love to hear what you think guys which is your favorite one out of all of those so there you go. Okay, so I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.